Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to fall today. The SPY futures are pointing to 0.3% fall. Yesterday, the market closed 0.29% lower at 7,393. In business news from this morning, BHP reports WA iron ore production was up 5% quarter on quarter, while first half copper production rose 7%, reflecting a record half at Spence and ongoing strong performance at additional tons at Copper South Australia. Financial year 2024 production guidance ranges remain unchanged for all assets, with the exception of BMA, which has been lowered to between 23 and 25 megatons, excluding Blackwater and Dania from the expected sale completion date of the 2nd of April. Copper production increased 7%, including a record quarter account. Carapatina, an energy coal production, increased 36%, with its financial year 2024 production now expected to be in the upper end of the guidance range. Ampol report their fourth quarter 2023 lit and refinery volumes totaled 1,428 million litres, compared with 1,580 million litres in the prior corresponding period. The reduction in volume in the quarter is largely reflective of an unplanned outage towards the end of December, with the refinery now returned to normal operations. The lit and refiner margin averaged 10 US dollars and 52 cents per barrel in the quarter, as landed crude premiums rose and product crack spreads reduced compared to the third quarter. This compares to $11.76 per barrel for the fourth quarter in 2022. The Qantas Group has appointed Andrew Glantz as the new CEO for its loyalty business unit. He's currently the Executive Manager of Commercial Partnerships and Qantas Business Rewards, having worked in a number of senior roles in Qantas loyalty since 2016. Prior to that, he held senior finance positions across the organization, ranging from flight operations to in-flight services, since joining Qantas in 2002. His appointment follows the resignation of current Qantas loyalty CEO Olivia Worth in October. He'll transition to his new role, including becoming part of the Qantas Group leadership team once Ms. Worth leaves at the end of February. We'll take a break now. I'll be back with more news set to affect your trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Kalkine Media's growing platform, Kalkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Kalkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guest team at kalkine.com. And welcome back to the ASX at breakfast. Let's take a look overseas now. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 0.25%. The S&P 500 dropped 0.56% and the Nasdaq lost 0.59%. London's FTSE fell 1.48%. Frankfurt lost 0.84% and Paris closed 1.07% lower. On Asia markets, Tokyo's Nikkei lost 0.4%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng dropped 3.71%, and China's Shanghai Composite closed 2.09% lower. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.